Hello again, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. Join me here today on a sort of mid to late April day. It's a little bit cloudy, a little bit grey, but certainly warm enough to be getting on with a few jobs. Also had to do some watering because you know, it's been a bit of a dry spell. We've not had any rain for about two weeks, so everything needs a little bit of a helping hand. But um, while that's all very interesting, of course, I am here to talk about whiskey. And what is the allotment dram today? Well, we're going Irish today in the form of uh, Grace O'Malley blended Irish whiskey. Now, um, wh what is this? This is a new product uh, just been launched into the UK a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is following a successful launch in uh, Ireland itself and the United States. Uh, so it's now available in the UK as well. And uh, what can I tell you about it? Well, Grace O'Malley, who is that? I hear you ask. That's certainly what I did when I first saw about it. Well, Grace O'Malley is a 16th century pirate queen of some notoriety and quite legendary. And uh, the whiskey itself, she's the sort of inspiration uh, behind the brand uh, as well. But uh, what is it? It's, a, as I said, a blended Irish whiskey. It's got a particularly high single malt content, uh, just under 50% uh, of it is single malt. So, so normally that's not the case, be it in Irish or Scotch whiskey, you know. Normally single malt is uh, quite a bit less than that with the majority being single grain within a blend. But uh, yeah, so 46% is the single malt content uh, within this Grace O'Malley. And all the whiskies included are between three and 10 years of age and includes, as I said, single malts, uh, both double and triple distilled single malts, but also um, the other two types of Irish whiskey as well, which is the single pot still and the single grain whiskey. So all three styles, different ages, also different casts at play. So there's some ex-bourbon casts, there's some ex-rum cask matured whiskey here and also some whiskey that's been matured in uh, French oak uh, casks as well. So a little bit of a quirky twist, you know, there's not too much whiskey maturing in French oak particularly. Uh, and these have all been kind of married together, blended together by Paul Karras, who's the, the master blender for uh, Grace O'Malley. Uh, it's 40% and uh, you know is available in selected retailers uh, in the UK uh, now and also as I say available in Ireland and the United States as well. This bottle would cost about £30 so really not not too bad at all. So I think uh, it's quite enough chat. Um, believe in grace it says on the front but uh, I certainly believe in having a dram right now so uh, let's let's have a taste of this and see what we think oh it's a bit tight oh there we go good sound one always one of our favorite sounds that as people will know there we go we just pop that cork back on pop it down there and there we go let's have a look at this so yeah lovely so deep gold there. So even you know quite quite vibrant even on a slightly dullish daylight today. But let, let's have a smell and a taste. So there's an immediate sort of freshness and sweetness here. So there's a quite pronounced like green apple. But then there's also like toffee and caramel and some honey as well. Quite a sort of floral, like a heather honey, something like that. A little pinch of um, pepper and cinnamon sort of underneath. But let's, let's have a taste. It's quite hot to start with suggesting you know, a little bit of youthful spirit in there which we know you know it says there's 
you're between three and ten years old so it's youthful spirits giving this sort of punch and this like slightly peppery uh, heat but then you have this like freshness and sweetness that mentioned on the nose so again this sort of juicy crisp but quite tart green apple slightly sharp apple and then this sort of uh, honey it's a bit of golden syrup in there as well actually and this is followed by this slightly sort of deeper sweetness which is the sort of toffee and caramel and so on uh, so yeah you know quite um quite uplifting as i say quite quite fresh and quite sweet let's have let's have another taste okay so the second taste now getting underneath almost underpinning everything there's this sort of rem quite robust multi quality you know which you know, must be coming from this fairly high single malt content. It kind of grips, grips the mouth, grips the taste buds. There's also a little hint of something tropical in there. It's like a caramelized uh, sort of pineapple or, or something like that. But also a slightly, the, the maltiness gives this slight sort of biscuity quality. But um, yeah, and then a pinch of this sort of white pepper, cinnamon, maybe even some toasted nuts right at the end there. It's like a toasted like hazelnut, possibly almonds as well. But yeah, you know, quite quite nice, not the most complicated whiskey um, by far, but then for 30 pounds around that mark, you wouldn't expect it to be, um, would you really? But um, yeah, very nice and you know, it would be great actually. You know, if you if you think of this, it would be great as an introduction. You know, if someone had never had Irish whiskey before, and you wanted to show them, you know, what it was about, without getting too complex, then this is a good start point, I think. You know, so the guys behind Grace O'Malley, you know, it'd be interesting to see sort of what else they do and sort of how the brand brand gross it's you know it's very new but um yeah this is a you know, very decent first impression so that's about it uh, we'll get on with a few more jobs uh, before we head off home so from myself and grace o'malley blended irish whiskey we will bid you farewell thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon cheers